Hey guys, what's up? It's Mokazunki, and as you can probably tell here, I'm not on my main account. I'm on a new account that I just created um, yesterday, I believe, is the time when I first started this, and I'm into engineering, and I have a few things to explain uh, why I'm not on my main account right now, why I'm videoing some other random one that I've never explained before. Um, I have an idea for a new series, and I kind of been wondering uh, how well this will go with other people, but the whole thought process behind this is when I first started RuneScape, uh, it was a long time ago, but one of the best things about starting was everything was like really new and fresh, and you didn't know how to get around, and you didn't know how to do certain things, and that was just a really awesome experience with the whole game being so new. So I thought, um, the game has changed so much now, what would it be like if you started an account today? and how difficult would it be to get started out, how difficult would it be to make some money um, and train your skills at a very low level. And I was curious in this and I imagine some other people will be too. So what I'm going to do is have a series where I'm going to be um, starting out on, with a new account and starting to level up my stats and do certain things at a low level where it's completely different than a high level. Um, when you're at high levels you just do the same thing over and over to grind your skills, but at low levels obviously you don't have access to the best training methods and you have to do alternatives. So um, my idea behind this series is to explore what it is like to start out an account on EOC RuneScape. And if you were someone who just started an account and didn't know what RuneScape is like, obviously I do have quite a bit of knowledge at my side, but um, we can still go through the same experiences. So what I have been doing is I have been um, only to engineering. Every single level that you see on here I have gotten all during engineering. I'm doing C2 floors at the moment because I tried doing a C6 dungeon um, and it took like 20 minutes because I'm ha wearing a Tangle Gum... A tangle gum shortbow. Sorry, stumbling over my words there. A tangle gum shortbow, and since this account is not members, I can't fletch a higher level shortbow, so I'm stuck with this one. Um, and I have not gotten any better shortbow, and this thing is just so inaccurate that trying to kill the boss of a C6 dungeon takes literally 10 to 15 minutes. No joke. That is how inaccurate this weapon is. And also, you take like three or four deaths. So it's just very, very inefficient to actually kill um, a boss during a C6 dungeon, so I um, I can do a C2 dungeon in about half the time, and it gives half the amount of XP, but I can also uh, go around and do some skilling. Like, I've been fishing all the fishing spots and woodcutting all the wood wood cutting spots and fire making the logs and cooking the fish. I don't know if I'll continue cooking the fish because that's kind of annoying, but I can get my um, my fishing and fire making and wood cutting up all, all very fast and all just within the dungeon, uh, which I'm doing anyway. So. I figured that was probably a pretty good way to start out, um, get some levels up, because this means I won't have to run around and uh, mess with normal trees, cutting them, because they can be pretty annoying to cut, or have to mess with um, catching the crayfish, whatever you catch at level 1 fishing, this is much, much faster. So um, that was the thought process behind this. But anyway, I just want you guys to let me know, um, is this something you would actually watch? Because if that's the case, I will make this account members, and I'll do all sorts of stuff. Probably do some Slayer right off the bat, but I'll I'll train up all the skills gradually. Um, probably do some quests as well, and you guys can follow along uh, while I make progress videos about this account. So just let me know um, how you feel about that. And uh, yeah. Oh, this is a good boss, Gluttonous Behemoth. I love this boss because it's probably the easiest one in all of Dungeoneering. <laughs> I also don't have any food in my inventory, so this might go badly. One food. I lied. Oh, yeah, this is going to be easy. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the accuracy on the uh, Tangle Gum bow is very, very low. So even uh, trying to kill like um, a level 10 monster, a level 10 eye spider, it just makes it really difficult. Um, the, what's it called? The Novite weapons um, are a little bit more accurate, but they also do a lot less damage. So that's a minus. Um, I'm trying to stick with range because I like range, personally. It's my favorite combat style, and 20 Dungeoneering, look at that. Um, but yeah, if you're actually... This floor took me 12 minutes, but you got to keep in mind that I'm going around cutting all the logs and fishing all the fish, and I was also recording. But uh, when you're actually um, trying, you can easily finish these C2 dungeons in like 3 minutes, uh, if you did not do any scaling. Um, and that's like 250 XP in 3 minutes, which is quite good. Uh, when you're just starting out at Dungeoneering, but Dungeoneering is one of my favorite skills, so I figured I would try it right off the bat. I had always been curious, like, 
um, how easy dungeoneering would be, like, just barely starting out. Oh, I forgot these mysterious shades, they tear. Um, need to get some food here. But if this episode is well received, I will um, do another episode and possibly do some quests and um, some of those really easy free-to-play quests that take like five minutes and possibly um, start off with some other skills as well. So just let me know what you think of this. Um, if you're interested in what starting a new account brand new on EOC might look like and how easy that would be. One thing that's kind of strange I just noticed is Heim Crabs and Red Eyes heal the same amount even though Red Eyes are a high are a higher level food so that's a bit odd but um, I'm also such a low level that I can't use the uh, lodestones to teleport around the dungeon because I'm level one magic and there isn't really uh, much of a way to train it in dungeoneering I am kind of excited just to make this account members and start working on some of those quests because um, I figured members is probably worth it since this would be fun. I've I have actually started a new account before and tried out doing some quests and doing some basic slayer and stuff and I got fairly far. I think I got to about uh, 1500 total on that account. Um and that was that was a fun experience. So I'm really looking forward to doing it again. Obviously, uh the first time I created a new account was like a year and a half ago. Um, or a year ago, somewhere along those lines, and there was no EOC, and also the game was just a bit different starting out. So this could be a pretty fun new experience. Also, I'm just interested in looking what combat is uh, at low level. I imagine combat is probably pretty broken, because um, most of the players in this game are high-level players, and Jagex has fixed a lot of the higher-level content. Um, of course, there's a new update today that was completely broken, but we don't have to go into that now. But um, for the most part, Jagex gets a lot of feedback on the more higher level content, and they can make it uh, workable and fix problems. But there aren't a whole lot of low level players in the game, especially not new players starting out, so they just don't have much feedback from the new players. So I imagine um, there's a lot of mechanics that probably aren't going to work very well, uh, like starting out dungeoneering at uh, no combat stats. It's pretty rough just because you can't hit anything. Like, this ice spider is going to take forever to kill, and I'm probably going to die. Um, oh dear. I know a lot of people say dungeoneering is too easy, but believe me, when you're just starting out, um, and even the regular monsters in the dungeon can quite easily kill you because, uh, well, it's pretty hard to hit them, and they can hit you pretty hard in return. So, I think this is kind of what Jax imagined when they first made dungeoneering. Is like what I have to do sometimes is I have to like cook food because if I don't, I'll die, and there's nothing else to do in the or there's no other food in the dungeon. So to kill this monster, I had to fish and cook some food. Um, otherwise, there's just no way to do it without dying. Uh, I think that's really probably what they had in mind when they first created Dungeoneering, is that it would be like this, but unfortunately Dungeoneering turned out to be um, not much of a challenge for higher level players, but it's quite different for lower levels. So anyway, that's all for this video. Um, the next few episodes in this series are not going to be so vloggy-like, probably show a bit more clips and a bit more things that I've I'll do. So um, just leave your thoughts on this series down in the comments or join my friends chat in game which is just Monkle Zunky and let me know what you think. Uh, that's all. Thanks for watching and farewell.